so friends I'm adding this video to show that uh, what are Java scripts in and how we can use them using selenium web driver okay so now what's the framework of selenium and how it's work with JavaScript let me open my page this is your browser okay and on this browser I will make this small. Sorry, this is your browser. Okay. On this page, there runs JavaScript. Okay, this is JavaScript. Okay now what the selenium does selenium this is selenium so all the functions or the tasks up in the this browser ha are performed by javascript now what the selenium does it uses these apis that uses this javascript it is built on top of the javascript and uh, when you write command in selenium it in it calls it calls your javascript okay and javascript then calls your browser okay so uh, we can handle uh, this browser using the javascript as well okay now in selenium provide uh, a function where we can directly use JavaScript also. So the commands which we are using to interact from browser to uh, JavaScript to browser, suppose this command was xx. So we can copy this command and give it to Selenium. It will work the same way. Okay. So let's start. I will make a new project. My Java project name it as selenium project okay and I will create a new package under this in my package okay I will open my Firefox I need to reinstall my Firefox just cut it so it's giving me an icon like this so anyhow it's working fine okay mm. I have one URL with me yeah this is the URL okay if I go to this URL you see there is a button click me button okay so first i need to click on uh, on this click me button using selenium web driver okay so i need to import my selenium jar files we'll go to properties java build path add external jars and add my libraries then I will create a new class that is Java script walking I will include public static void main click on finish we create an object of web driver class I will create web driver driver is equals to new Firefox driver import my libraries okay I will write driver I will navigate to the URL okay this is the URL then I will maximize my window driver dot manage dot windows dot maximize after this I will add some implicit weight manage dot timeout dot implicit weights of 5 seconds suppose and time unit 
wait in seconds okay now after this I want to click on this element okay so I will get the xpath of this element okay so I will copy this xpath I will copy this xpath and I will paste here drive I will click on this button find element by its xpath this is my xpath we need to remove this dot and what I will I will click on this element I will save this and I will run this if it's working fine or not run as a Java application so it will open the firefox yes it has opened the firefox and it's navigated to the url yes it has maximized the window and it has clicked on this button so new pop-up has come okay so it's working fine if you also see what's the activity on clicking this button is the same I click on this a new box comes okay if I analyze this button what I see that there is one function present that is inform braces that is when you click on this button this function is called this is a JavaScript function let me copy this and go to the source code of this page if I search this here this function is defined on this page that is inform this it's the function name and what we need to do with this function okay now this inform you can call this anywhere on this click element and the uh, related activity will be performed let's see yeah here this is given as inform okay they are all they are using many places this inform me button okay so JavaScript uh, works this way okay so suppose if I I call this I can also call this JavaScript function directly and it can perform the activity as well so how I can call this Java script function so you will find uh, that uh, in a situation we are able to click this element in some situations you must not be able to click some element or some drop down or something if you analyze this it must be having some JavaScript function like this it must have these bases open and close bases so you can directly call those function and it will perform that activity how and now how you can work with this JavaScript functions let me comment this out okay you're right for executing the JavaScript we need to uh, prepare an object for JavaScript executor okay that is Java script executor okay we give my driver object here okay and I will write here execute this s would be small execute script okay I will import my library under this script all I j it's a JavaScript I'm saying that my driver to run the JavaScript uh, JavaScript uh, words and I want the script to be executed is this inform me function okay 
so I will copy this JavaScript function and just keep it here so what this my command will do this line will do it will run my JavaScript function in form and it is performing the same activity on click on click that is on on click we are calling this JavaScript function so it performs that activity okay so save this and run this as a Java application okay the Firefox opens it's navigating to the JavaScript yeah it has clicked so it's working perfectly fine we are able to click on this element using our JavaScript function okay. now let's say suppose on this uh, element there is no JavaScript function okay and I want to click on this element using JavaScript because as I have told that selenium calls javascript functions and javascript calls browser but through selenium we directly can interact with the browser also because in selenium we can use javascripts first method i have shown that in which we have javascript function and how we can call second is that we can directly use javascript find elements function okay let's let me show you that how we can use them So first we need to again make an JavaScript object. All right, driver. Right, execute script. And like we have find element by ID, name, etc. in Selenium. Uh, similarly we have some find elements in uh, JavaScript okay so okay so if we have like here we can find this element by our input type the name of this element is FD0 suppose uh, if we want to find this element by its name fd0 so the x path of this is there was some noises so i just closed the door okay so suppose i need to find the x path for this so what i need to say is input and whose at the rate name is equal to fd0 if i enter it we are able to identify this element and we use in selenium use this I, uh, x path and we write driver dot find name similarly in selenium we can make an x script like instead of driver we ha have here document dot now we functions we have is find element by ui etc we have also one function that's find elements by name we don't have find element by name we there have find elements that it is find multiple elements okay so we will use find elements by name okay and the name is this single right commas and I want to click on this similarly we are doing in selenium okay so when we are writing this uh, find driver dot find element by x path and uh, or maybe by the id etc so what the say it does selenium calls this function of the javascript execute javascript document and it it is executed so selenium calls the javascript functions uh, uh, at the lower layer okay so as it returns find elements by name 
I need to click on the first element okay now save this and again run this as a Java application okay the Firefox opens it has not clicked now let's see why what the error it is giving it's me giving document find elements by name is not a function let me check the name maybe I've given something wrong because I'm not using JavaScript myself very much so we use when we are not able to find elements using our this is the same here so what the mistake I did oh it's not find element it is get elements sorry guys and I need to find the zeroth element that first element the index will be the zero it for it okay yeah that's let's save this and now run this it will work fine now run this as a Java application okay the Firefox opens it's navigating to the URL and it has clicked okay so this is how the selenium works and uh, so so we can directly call the javascript uh, scripts directly from the selenium also okay so when you find difficulties for finding an element or clicking an element using the selenium you can directly use the javascript functions and their scripts okay thank you for watching this video